Halo guys, WhatsApp Pinin. Um, hari ini gua akan mencoba nih main mainan baru namanya X Infinity. Ini game play to earn. Ini kalau kalian masih belum tahu, ini masih baru banget. Enggak baru sih dari tahun lalu, tapi baru banget buminya. Uh, dan dia membutuhkan sekitar belasan uh, juta sampai puluhan juta untuk starting game ya karena kita perlu beli uh, tiga aksi dulu untuk mau mulai gamenya. Nah, jadi prosesnya gimana kalau baru uh, kalian mau join mau coba, aku juga kemarin baru coba. Uh, itu agak 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 sulit prosesnya tapi pertama itu uh, kalian isi dulu. Uh, buka akun di akun mana aja Binance atau Indodax atau mana gue sendiri secara familiar Indodax untuk uh, beli Ethereum. Abis beli Ethereum di sana apa yang kita lakukan? Kita itu ke uh, buka akun di MetaMask. Nah ini MetaMask. Nah MetaMask ini uh, nanti kalian copy tuh clipboard yang ini. setelah beli yang ethereum tadi habis itu kalian juga eh uh, transfer ke metamask ini kan tadi wallet udah ada tuh nah karena wallet udah ada jadi langsung aja ke uh, indodex terus pilih eh uh, withdraw dari withdraw itu ntar ada pilihan lagi eh uh, address pilih new address Uh, terus label masukin aja nama apapun yang kalian mau tulis metamask ya habis itu addressnya masukin yang ini, yang ini tadi yang ini tadi ya copy to clipboard tadi nah habis itu akan kena v 0,01 ethereum tuh kalian yasin aja sekitar setengah jam sampai satu jam nanti uangnya akan masuk ke metamask kalian ethereumnya akan masuk ke metamask kalian nah samping itu karena kita menggunakan uh, mau main aksi infinity itu mereka menggunakan Ronin wallet jadi Ronin wallet ini gimana cara kerjanya uh, kita ke bridge sini nah terus pilih deposit untuk pindahin dari yang metamask tadi nah kalau metamask udah keisi ini ada terum network ini nah Roninnya Ronin address ini dari mana Ron kalian juga uh, install ini Ronin ya ini extension gitu nah, terus masukin yang copy address ini masukin di Ronin address nah asetnya pilih Ethereum gitu bisa maksimum cuman jangan lupa ini ada gas fee kalau kalian mau pindahin dari Ethereum ke W Ethereum wet nah, misalkan begini oke okay. Nah, ketika kita udah mau pindahin, kita klik confirm. Akan ada fee-nya, gas fee. Lumayan gede ya, guys. Kayak 200.000 ribu lah. Itu nggak apa-apa. Kalian confirm. Ntar, uh, ntar uh, udah bisa langsung gitu. Nah, satu lagi yang mau gue kasih tahu ke, ke kalian itu adalah... Uh, jangan lupa untuk confirm kalau kalian pakai Indodax confirm di email ya untuk transaksi tadi agar bisa kekirim ke uh, metamask kalian nah, sekarang kita langsung aja gue mau mulai cari uh, aksi buat gue gue plannya adalah untuk jadi breeder jadi yang gue cari sekarang itu sebisa mungkin ya dengan harga gue cari yang semurah mungkin tapi juga cari yang pure setelah baca-baca uh, ini kan <tuh> baca artikel nonton uh, YouTube channel YouTube channelnya ada uh, exit to infinity kan bisa nonton itu itu Elijah uh, dia rank 11 sekarang di leaderboard terus adult partsnya kalau untuk bis yang gue tahu itu katanya harus cari Ronin im nah 
untuk prefer sendiri gue pilih nutcracker oke ini udah ada oh. harga paling murahnya 0,188 gue cuma punya 0,4 Oke, ini enggak pure lagi. Kita lihat karena gue mau coba untuk beli yang pure. Agar bisa ngebreed yang mahal. Mm -hmm. Breakdownnya dua, oke. agak susah nemuin skillnya ya guys nemuin yang tepat itu susah not creator ya kenapa gue cari not creator, not creator? karena uh, gue ngeliatin videonya sih aksi tudungun tadi aksi tudungun itu kalau pakai not creator 2 wow damage dealer ya keren banget Cong buat ini sekarang udah harganya cukup mahal semua ya. Kalau memang nggak bisa dapat, hmm. gua akan pakai opsi kedua yaitu nat kriker dihapus. Mm -mm. Breedcon sendiri cukup mahal, cuman kalau mau jadi breeder katanya breedconnya masih tinggi, eh masih rendah. Purity-nya mana? Oh ini pureness nih sini. Oh, paling murah 0,201 ya, masih umur kali ini. Oke, okay, kita coba break concernnya ketiga ini. Kalau oh, satu empat lima ini ada. Ah, kurang. Jadi kalau cari di situ katanya cari yang damage dealer. Karena tugas itu emang di situ untuk uh, hit paling keras ya. <tuh> bedanya apa kalau breed count sini breed count ini kalau kalian breeder kalau dia tinggi bridge-nya uh, kalian nggak bisa nggak uh, bisa apa namanya uh, dengan murah untuk ternakinnya makanya kenapa breed count 0 itu mahal-mahal itu -mahal, ya. nah ini ada satu 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 nol artinya apa untuk satu ini berarti dia gunain satu energi kalau nol itu gunain nol energi esi dia 120 damage kalau combo sama nutcracker uh, card kayak pengennya punya nutcracker nutcracker agak pusing juga tiba-tiba harganya pada naik kalau kemarin baru lihat-lihat dan 0,4 ethereum gue pikir cukup mana
ini 0,4 ini sekitar berapa 16 setengah juta dikeluarin untuk investasi mining oke ini menarik perhatian gua eh auction is no longer available ya ampun Nah. lucu nih aduh ini juga menarik sih coba kita lihat dulu karena kita harus beli tiga ini kalau nggak cukup duit gua gua harus tambah lagi coba kita hitung hitung dulu ya guys 0,2 berarti sisa duit gua adalah 2 dolar 0,2 lagi kita butuh cari plan plan itu gua nggak tahu dia at least harus punya plan itu kan bukan syarat ya lupa gua diam ya lupa guys ada 0,00 dolar um, bilang enggak ya cukup pure break count nya lebih dari 4 ambil aja dulu deh oh, oh. yang gue plan itu beli reptile ini reptile kalau gak salah eh kelasnya mac ya aku aku aktif lagi jadi di aksi sendiri ini kayak pokemon hmm. ya ini kalian bisa lihat nih uh, ini kelas bug serangga ini akuatik oh iya ini ada stat stat ini ini pureness nya bisa kelihatan di sini nah d apa d itu artinya yang sekarang gennya apa kalau r 1 kalau kalian punya anak ntar kira kira anakannya kayak gimana sama r 2 nya kayak gimana nah itu ini gue penasaran nih nggak ada harganya Oke, okay. mungkin bak. Coba kita cek slide selanjutnya. Bak gua ada murah ya. Lagi kita cari plan. Berarti ini gua harus nambahin duit lagi guys. nggak murah ya gue lupa masih beli apa ya kita cek dulu aja punya
You in position yet? I'm working on it. What's taking? So this is my second pick for the back line, and I want to go further because these might sell out too. And if that happens, bam, I've got you. What's going on, Axie fam? Elijah here, back with the invest composition that I truly think will take you the farthest that it can in terms of the current state of the game and for the price point. And that's gonna be a double aqua build. This is a tried and true build. It's been successful season after season. And as I was looking at beasts and reptiles and birds and all the other options, in terms of getting something on a budget, I couldn't really find the type of meta that you would want for a reasonable price. But with aquas, I feel like that potential is still there. So I'm going to start things off with our tank. Now, one thing I want to recommend, while the market is like this, I think that it's important to get fixtures almost of axes, things that you know have longevity for sure, because you're having to pay quite a bit to get involved. And we don't know exactly where it's going to go from here. So for instance, this this hot butt tank is a staple. It's arguably the most well-rounded and best tank in the game. So of course, it's gonna be my suggestion in terms of where you should be investing in your first Axie. I've covered this build many times before, so I'll give you like the 10 second breakdown. Essentially, hot butt turns off the opponent's uh, mouth cards, which allows you to pass versus other tanks in the early game without you know worrying about getting energy stolen from. And then we have classic shield and serious for our own energy gain and tons of damage in Cactus. It is a really strong build. So that is my pick. It's 496 at the floor, okay? It's not it's, it's not a joke right now in Axie Infinity, all right? Like you gotta be willing to go for it. But we also know that SLP price is through the roof so that you're going to be earning back like way quicker than you would have been earning a couple months ago. So it's kind of all in this unison, like it's working together like an ecosystem as it should. As always, if you're not in love with the game, you you can sell your axes and it won't be very hard given the current state of the market where things are just flying off the shelves. Moving on to our midliner, we've got this sponge aqua, very nice. For a pure one here, it's 0.24, 507, that's the floor. And then it gets a little steeper after this. It's like 530, 540 right now, but essentially, Incredible card here in Sponge. 90 shield, a little bit of uh, damage as well, but mainly it allows you that option to outplay your opponent in the mid game and brick wall. When you know you're expecting a large wave of attacks, you can survive, get off tons of damage on your own, get a damage bonus from the card. And the Nemo is so essential for energy gain in the mid to late game. So you don't wanna be spamming those in round one or two. That's kind of a useless move. You're not even gonna have enough cards to utilize all that energy. You wanna hold your Nemos, get yourself set up for that mid to late game, stall the opponent, charge up, finish off with your backliner. It's just, you know, a magnificent Axie. Uh, and it's been a staple at the very highest level in the game for the past few seasons. I'm talking Indez, AK. These guys are running this bad boy and crushing people with it. And the reason it's so attractive right now is that it's 507, right? And so my, my second runner up to this, as far as a midline, would be this aqua here and it's actually more expensive right now and definitely an inferior build so it's got the babylonia instead of the sponge which offers us the 50 shield and allows us to get that durability in the mid game now it's harder to play because ideally you need to be holding both babylonias and making sure that you have both available to put up 100 sh okay Okay guys, maaf-maaf uh, semua ya kita. Tapi tadi Raja bilang aquatic university. Beauty. Ah, mari kita lihat aquatic. tiga kali eh nggak nggak fable sekarang sedih juga fable eh lihat dulu deh hmm. 
Si sí, amor, ¿cómo rápido el diciendo? Oh, I'm on back. Bamboo shit. Zig sick. Chase of Clan guys Harga yang masih mahal-mahal Kita cek ya ini kan Ini kan tanggal berapa dia 11 Juli ya 7 Juli bahkan ya 7 Juli Kita cek dia harganya berapa sekarang Ini 137, 97, 97 satu mana kita lihat ya kita bisa cari nomor kode ya ada pilihan Worst case itu beli ini nih. Karena siapa?
bisa mungkin kita cari pureness saya akan cari itu jadi uh, mungkin soalnya perlu keluar sekitar 25 juta kali ya untuk uh, aksi ini karena sekarang harga aksi itu naik terus guys setiap hari ini kita coba lagi ya um, adult pureness
Hmm. Ya, di pikiran gue adalah sekarang Karena gue tujuannya ngebrit Untuk ke depannya Uh, harus cari yang bagus yang murah bagus yang murah susah karena nggak cukup duitnya tambah lagi deh kita lihat masih nggak sekarang bis di field and still hunting not good five hundred why they've got you okay so attack bonus but hell it's 50 damage the piece fast back does not shield but now we're overloaded on sh enemy plus and him around 1500 and i would say in the current game of Ash, hold off wait to see what happens the game's going to be around for a very long time and the team on this in quite builds in the game so that'll all be in the where it's going to go from in terms of the credit really really incredible and it's recommended Backline Aqua in Kaku. If we take a look at the Koi Kaku uh, page here, just the front page, we can see that the very floor, which is, you know, these are not good builds. They're double zero costs or weird backdoor cards that are ineffective. They're going for like 0.21, right? Here, this gorgeous moon, that's one point. Why here is prior to MMR. Take notes of right now, write these skills down. You guys options, right? Because you might not be able to find a ranged card in shrive and these might sell out too and if that happens bam so there's definitely similar i speed up past cards back line midline aqua colonia aqua okay these fourth there we go. looking for their build is like getting one with catfish a single anemone or something that uh makes the build lopsided like the sponge plus the babylonia resulting in too much shield other than those cards everything else is pretty much fair game i mean risky fish or randa these are just great cards high damage you essentially are always looking for that 110 sort of standard aqua damage to to be involved and you can kind of mix and match the rest without it uh, costing you all that much. So if I add up my team here, it's gonna come out to 0.728 Ethereum, around $1,500. All of the options I went to are gonna bring you to right about this amount, between 1,500 and 1,600. And I would say in the current game of Axie Infinity, this is the most well-rounded and budget option in my opinion. Nothing said in this video was financial advice. I understand axes are very expensive right now. I don't anticipate it always staying that way. So if it's too much of a stretch, hold off, wait to see what happens. The game's gonna be around for a very long time and the team wants to get more people involved, of course. So this will probably change. But again, this has just been a consistent build. If I had to choose with my own money and was coming in fresh, but I knew about the game, I would go this route. I'm actually gonna skip playing a game with the team this time because it's already a long video and I've done this in quite a few other videos. So what I'll do is leave links in the description to past double aqua builds where you get to see gameplay. I even have one with Indez where he's playing this exact team almost. And yeah, you can hear it from the horse's mouth in terms of the best way to play one of the strongest builds in the game. So that'll all be in the description. Thanks again for watching as always. I hope that this provided you with some options and some clarity in terms of you know what to get involved with. Let me know what you'd like to see next. If you're fixated on getting a beast bird combo and you wanna see what options are available for that, let me know. Same thing with beast reptile perhaps, although reptiles are just so expensive right now, it's crazy. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter.
Hai pemain satu, siap hadapi tantangan ini? Yo mabuki, SLP today. I have actually earned 500 and SMB back been a little. Let's head into the market. You can't go wrong with having Ronin and Imp on your uh, Beast Axie. And you can see, guys, wow, these prices. Place guys learn. So if you just wait here, you can see what people are posting. And all you have to do is click on this link right here, guys, and it'll take you to the actual marketplace listing. And you're going to see the actual listing here is all over the place. This ended a few days ago. Valueless hybrid axes on the marketplace, especially on the first page, which is basically the cheapest axes out there. And if we go back to the marketplace and look at their genes, you can see how mixed uh, these axes are. So people tend to think that just because the axe is a hybrid, that it's not good. And that is a common misconception. You can see if we go back to axie.zone, we look at Elijah's uh, axes. This is a hybrid. Look, he has so many different body parts, but this is on one of his most top ranking teams. Let's click on this Axie here so we can have a close up look. And there you go, guys. Look at this. He's using a uh, plant back. Mouth is a bird. He has the beast uh, dual strike, which is the horn, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, or maybe I have this all mixed up. And another reason hybrid axes get a bad rap is by going with the hybrid uh, build, you know, you're giving up a lot on stats because for those of you who are new, you get most of your stats by the class of your axie. In addition to this, you can see from this chart that each part adds four stats depending on the class of the card. So by having a hybrid axie, you are potentially losing some important stats that some of your competitors will be focusing on. So all I'm trying to say, guys, is just because it's a hybrid axie, don't count it out. So do your research, guys. Find an axie that works best for you. I wish I knew that back then because if I did, I would definitely look into getting a hybrid axies because they are so dangerous, guys. All right, so number four on the list, guys, my first week. These are actually the most common Axie builds out there. You're gonna hear a lot of these builds in the Discord channel, on YouTube channels. Everyone talks about this. So for those of you who help do our research, most common, oh my God, if I knew this guy at Axie builds, and this, oh my God, if I knew this guys, I would have just focused on this on my first week. These are actually the most common so for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, when I talk about a Rimp Beast, it's all right here, guys. Rimp stands for Ronin and Imp. I want to click. All right, so no number four on the list, guys, ties in. PVP, PVP untuk um, untuk PVP untuk menyerang uh, pemain lain itu di mana kalian bisa dapetin SLP paling banyak. Oke, okay, chip tank. Yang breed, breed, hybrid, maksudnya breed, breed. Nah, ini dua kali lima tank ni. Kalah. Terpon. Ah, anjir dah habis. Logi, buat apa?
Čovaj 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 prostý. Ďakujem za pozornosť. 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 Jauh nggak tahu apa yang mau ini tapi ya coba itu dulu. Si sa, kita berapa tadi guys? Saya nak koma dua empat. Oh my god, mungkin dia masih top up lagi. Okay, berhubung si top up lagi, lebih baik gain later. Mau cari duit dulu, mau tambah yang duitnya, kekurangan duitnya. Better beli yang pure kalau ini, ya. empat enam puluh empat tujuh puluh crazy man okay guys kita balik lagi nanti ya malaman gua lanjutin